In a fast-moving, climate-affected world that causes many problems, because the Indian agriculture society is based on heritage and ancestral knowledge. And as trends are changing, as the agricultural environment is changing, a lot of this past knowledge and experience, which is the way farmers make strategies on how to grow, on how to plant, on how to maintain, are completely going to waste. For example, in Rajasthan a few months ago, there was traditional knowledge to be planting wheat in a certain area of land, and Rajasthan is an Indian state. But the problem was with global warming causing a heat wave, completely changing the soil fertility of that region, almost 80 to 90% of that wheat yield was completely wasted. And that led to a loss of farm income and a loss of uh, crop output in the state of Rajasthan. So, I spoke to a few farmers about this. Is there any awareness of the, of the situation of climate change? Is there any awareness that their previous uh, ideas, which their uh, ancestors and forefathers have passed on, they're slowly uh, starting to become more and more useful? And the thing is that almost every single one of them had agreed that our incomes are dropping, our yield is reducing, but we don't know what to do about them. So they're willing to take on new strategies, they're willing to take on new technologies which can help them maintain this yield. Fortunately, one such solution exists which can help uh, farmers deal with climate change on a very large scale, and that is satellite imagery. So what is satellite imagery? Well, of course, it's pretty self-evident in the name. It's images taken from satellites which orbit, this, uh, which orbit up in space. But something very interesting is that it's not just red, green, and blue imagery, which is the visual spectrum of light, which us humans can see and which us human cameras can capture. It's also infrared, ultraviolet, aerosol, and a multitude of other bands of the electromagnetic spectrum. Now, what that does is that it allows scientists and algorithms to make analysis and to extract information which would have previously gone unseen. And since this is taken from satellites up in space, we can solve those problems on a very large scale. So, what can satellite imagery do? Project FireMind will be focusing on the first two uses, to identify nutrition deficiencies and to monitor crop health. This is an example of an index applied on a satellite image. We can see uh, the UC Berkeley up there and our rival Stanford down there. And uh, what this algorithm does, it, it, it shows the, um, how green or how healthy uh, area of land is, so how much green vegetation does it has. As you can see in the city, San Jose, and um, up in Berkeley and San Francisco as we go up, it's not that healthy. And I'm using red, green, and, uh, red, green, and orange to represent the healthiness. But as we slowly start coming towards the mountains, we can see that the quality and the thickness of the vegetation slowly starts to increase. Now, algorithms like this exist in a lot of, in um, many ways, but farmers are simply unable to work with satellite imagery, or unable to, in, uh, to deal with satellite imagery because of the fact that they don't have the time nor the resources to do so. So what will Project Farm I do? Firstly, we will ensure the complete land use of each and every single farmer, given the fractional holdings by making sure that each and every single aspect of the crop is healthy so that there is no waste at all. Secondly, we will protect farmer income by ensuring that if each piece of land has the right amount of fertilizer and each crop has the right amount of nutrients so that when they go to the market, they have the full quality crops and they can get the most money. And finally, we will help farmers make informed decisions by, in, by telling them the soil fertility levels and giving them suggestions like, maybe not plant wheat right now, you should be planting maize because this will happen. All of this will be done through an all-in-one app, and I've been working on a prototype, and it looks kind of like this, where we can have a home page showing your map, and you'll be able to select your fields on it, and uh, this is an example of the soil fertility page, where there is information given, as well as suggestions, like apply sodium nitrate per, uh, fertilizer to this area, because, it's, uh, because you need that. So, what about our future? So, um, just yesterday, my fundraiser went live, and um, what we're planning to do with the funds is firstly get pilot programs in the states of Andhra Pradesh, Telangana, and Karnataka. We've been doing a few surveys in other regions as well as Kerala, and they're also interested in trying out this new technology. But in the long term, if you want to stay competitive as a product, we'll be hiring a board of advisors, a board technical and a market base, because satellite imagery is a very research-focused field, and to deal with the big corporations, we'll be having to, we'll be, there's a need for us to create our own algorithms and our own uh, models in order to help the farmers. So um, our, rev our revenue model, which we're looking for, uh, which we're looking at, is um, like a freemium model where farmers can have um, some basic access to information and data. But if you want like higher resolution imagery or a lot more co concrete feedback, you can pay a small fee. So that's it about Project Farmai. Um, thank you all for coming here and listening. And any feedback would be.